DeFi Render has just released version 2.2, and today we'll be going through the top features which in my opinion are vital for improving your render quality as well as your workflow. If you want to see an extensive list for this new release, check out the link provided in the description box below. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell icon to get updates on my latest video uploads. Alright, let's begin. When was the last time when you had to constantly save down your SketchUp model into a lower version just so you can import them into your scene? Well now, D5 Render supports direct imports for SketchUp 2022 version models. Telling a story keeps your viewers engaged. You can actually do this by simply changing the mood of your scene. You can add some rain, snow, some puddles would be nice too. Well, lucky for us, the D5 team gave us a slider to play around with. To activate this feature, enable precipitation under the environment panel and adjust the slider. To add puddles, adjust the ponding slider by increasing the value. Another great feature included in this update is the glass rain droplets effect. This is activated when you turn on precipitation under the environment panel. If you zoom in close enough, you can see a beautiful animation of the rain droplets trickling down the glass panel. To achieve photorealistic renders, material imperfections are a must. You see, when you look at the objects and finishes around you, you will definitely see dents or some sort of imperfections. Back in the day, achieving such results required a lot of time modeling and post-production. This update comes with decals assets, which includes road signages, cracks, markings, water stains, etc. New post-production effects are also made available inside D5 Render. To adjust the white balance of your scene, just add some tint. To direct your viewer's attention towards the center of your scene, go ahead and apply some vignette. To mimic the color fringing effect that you get from your actual real-world camera lens, just add a little bit of chromatic aberration. This will definitely add realism into your renderings. This is the only software I know that has this very cool feature. It basically allows you to assign your focus point to a moving asset or object. I can see this feature being very useful when having scenes with fast-moving objects or vehicles. Being organized saves time. You can now assign your assets into specific layers. Here's a quick tip. Turn off any unwanted layers while you're building or modifying your scene. This will save you some memory and speed up your workflow. Like any other software, navigation is optimal. 
You can move around your scene with the usual WSAD keys, but this time, with the latest update, you can drastically increase your movement speed by pressing and holding the shift key, or decrease it by half by pressing and holding the spacebar key. Last but not the least, let's activate and display our scene statistics. Click on the menu button, view, and then choose show statistics. This will show us our GPU status, FPS, and our current scene's number of lights, objects, and faces. All of which is needed to help us keep track and understand our scene better. I hope this video gave you some insights on D5 Render's latest update. Let me know which one's your favorite and leave it in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.